Hello everyone and welcome to Vantage Corner. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure your LAN ports at a one port with OpenWRT. And by default, a home router will have four LAN ports and one one port. However, if we want to run multi one or loss balancing or fail over on the router, we need more than one one port. And in this video, we are going to configure two and even three one ports on your OpenWRT router. And as on way, the first step will be log into the router management IP. All right, so once we are inside, let's just navigate to network and switch. As you can see, there are two VLANs created. The VLAN ID number one it is for all the LAN ports, as you can see, it will port LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3, LAN 4, or untag, and the CPU port is tagged. You need to tag the CPU port so that the LAN port can communicate with the CPU, right? And after that, we have the VLAN ID number 2, which is created for the one port, and as you can see, the one port is untagged. All right, so, when the status is untagged, the port is assigned to that VLAN ID, but the packet sent out from that port will not include the VLAN ID on the header, right? So I will try to make another video to explain about the VLAN tagging with OpenWRT, or maybe not, but you can always check on the top corner if there is a suggestion about the VLAN tagging, then yeah, let's check it out. Let's go back to our tutorial. Our plan is to create a new VLAN ID, maybe VLAN ID 3, and then we will assign port LAN number 1 to it. And after that, we are going to the network interfaces, and then we create a new network interface from that, from the new created VLAN. And we will set it up at a 1 port, right? So let's go ahead and click at VLAN. Here, the system have automatically filled in VLAN ID 3. We will put a description like, okay, 1, 2. And the CPU port, the status should be tagged, right? The port, LAN 1, will be untagged. And, oh, I'm sorry, we have to untag the, the port uh, LAN 1 from the, the, the LAN port first. Okay, so we turn it off, right? And then this port will be untag and after that off up 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 off all like that so once you're done click save and apply so the system is writing the configuration and it will take a while to reload all right so now let's back to our router as you can see this is the one port and it has connected to the physical one port on the router and this is the LAN port number one next to the one port right so we are going to connect our one two network cable to it so once we are connected you will see the status from the open WRT interface change that you can see we have the LAN port one the stated change to uh, full duplex and we have a 100 mbps link connected even though the title is LAN1, it is actually our one port. And next, we are going to Networks, Interfaces, Add New Interface. The name will be, let's say, 1.2. It will be DHCP Client, right? And we will specify the interface that we have just newly created. And in this case, it will be Switch VLAN Ethernet 3.0.3. Create interface and then click save, right? So after we done, click save and apply. All right, perfect. So as you can see, we have just successfully created a new one interface, which is we have the name uh, one two, and it has successfully received the IP address from the DHCP server, which is one nine two dot one six a dot nine dot one nine three, and let's just go back to our network switches. 
once we create a new VLAN, if we have the Ethernet and then 0, 0 0.3, so if now we create a new VLAN, then the interface name will be Ethernet 0 0.4. And let's say I will create a new one interface with the LAN port 2, right? So we are going to untag this one first, click off, and then let's add a VLAN and then this will be let's say this is one number three right so the status the CPU will be tagged right and the LAN port 2 is will be untagged and the rest will be leave it like that and click save and apply Uh, because I don't have another router, so I will just let's say I will just remove this network port from the one port and I will connect it to the LAN port 3. Just connect, all right, and then let's go back to our interfaces and then we click add new interface. And it will be one three. It will be the protocol will be DHCP client, and then it will the interface selects a new interface which is Ethernet zero point four. Click create interface, and click save. Click save and apply. All right, so, so far we have just successfully created uh, two new one port on the router. And I believe that we can end the video here. So in the next video, I will show you how to uh, configure the multi one with loss balancing or fail over on the OpenWRT router. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. And if you have any comments or idea, feel free to leave it in the comment section. I cannot make sure, but I will try my best to go to all of the questions and assist you as soon as possible. And as always, if you see the video uh, useful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel to support me. See ya!